Well, howdy. We're here at Indian Lake Estates on the drizzly morning of Saturday, February 1st, 2020. And I'm going to share some editing techniques. Uh, I'll do this section in Photo Mechanic. And this, these are uh, 19 of 748 images in my San Diego Part 2 file. So this is a second edit. And with today's amazing cameras, amazing autofocus, large files, it's really important that you learn to pick only the very best images for your keepers. If you save everything that's good, you'll be swamped as far as your image storage problems. So we're here in Photo Mechanic. I do all of my Sony editing. These are Sony edit images, ARW. I normally do all of my editing, picking my keepers, in Capture One down here. But for this little excerpt, I wanted to uh, do it in Photo Mechanic and talk about why I use Capture One. So if we select the first image and we hit the space bar, we see the image, nice head angle two or three year old Western Gull and we see the data 600 millimeter lens alone it's probably with the two to six for sure in the a92 nice exposure and if we hit Z while holding the cursor on the eye I'm sorry there's the image to start if we hit command cursor we see that at what is supposedly 100% that we just get a tiny enlargement. Hit Z again to get out of it. If we go up to 3x, then hit Z and put the cursor on the eye and hit Command, you can see, or even at 4x even more, that the image is tremendously pixelated. The reason for that is that, hit Z again, the embedded JPEGs in Sony images that we're looking at when we think we're seeing the RAW file are much smaller than with Canon and Nikon where the embedded JPEGs are full size, the same size as the RAW, just in JPEG, same pixel dimensions. So that is why I go. But for here, all of these images are sharp on the eye, all 19 images. And when I review my images, if you look down at this little square below the little hand, I hit T for a tagged image, and if I want to untag, I hit T. So we'll look at these four ruffling Western Gull images. And This is the second one you see up here, two of 19. I really like that because of the position of, uh, I guess the primaries of one wing. And I like this one better for the head angle. Here the head is turned a little, much, a little too much toward us. This one isn't as good as two. This one is not as good as two. And this one doesn't have a whole lot going for it either. So going back to the beginning, I'm going to mark this with a T. I'm going to mark this one with a T, and then I'll leave those two unmarked for deletion. Get out of the full frame. Let's look at that again. So we have keeper, keeper, delete, delete. Not that this is a terrible image, but I really like this part here with the primaries tilted way up, invisible. Two deletes. Now we have the chocolate covered cherry, a two year old uh, brown pelican, one of my favorite plumages, a little bit underexposed. We look at one, we look at two, we look at three, we look at four, almost all identical. And I think I like the angle of the head best in two. So there's one, two, three, four. Really a toss up here, but no sense to keep all of them if you're backing up your work. And I changed my mind. I like the head back here. So I'll give this one a T and leave these three 
untagged. In Photoshop, I'll clean this up in the corner, clean this up, maybe do a little bit of a crop from here, tightening it up a bit. Continuing on, we have a long series with the A92 zoomed out from 600 millimeters to 400 millimeters, so that brings the background detail up. And it's always a good idea when you have a long sequence to take a peek through all of the images. Yeah, those two sort of don't belong. We'll check them out. So, coming through, they're all very similar. They're all sharp on the eye. I like the framing of this one better than here. The bird up in the frame a bit. Bird is being real good. The back, the face and the bill are pretty much parallel to the back of the camera. And then we get a little more angle here. We need a crop from here for this one. <clears throat> yeah, I think I took a step closer. And here the bill is open. This, I'm seeing a little bit of the other side of the bill pouch. So for me, this is a clear winner. So I'll give this a T for tag. And the rest will be left untagged. Again here, this starts the spot where I've gotten a little bit closer. And the bird, there's a lot of tension in these next couple. Here, here, and here, these two. A nice tension and this one has the most tension with the head pulled back and the bill nicely angled and open a bit so that's the keeper these two this one is definitely a delete even though the bill is open we're not getting a good look at the face this one it's got a better look at the face but these two are just going to bite the bullet and get deleted and the last two images are 6527 and 6526. And here um, there's a decent amount of light. The sun is breaking through. And I'm shooting a little off sun angle to get the black background in the distance. The, uh, the distant shaded cliffs. So when we compare the two images, to me, I far prefer the look at the face here where the bird has become a little more erect. This one has more room at the top, and it's a nice picture, but I only want to save one. Both are equally sharp. So my plan here will be to add some canvas to the top maybe a little bit to the right. So I have a little bit more room above the bird's head. So this gets a T. Then if I want to see my keepers, I can go show tagged and we see my four keepers from the day. From this little section actually. And if I were going to delete these, I would hit untagged and then Command A, and then Command Delete. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to bring these back for the complete video, which will be available for purchase in the Birds' is online store, and we'll let you know in a few days on the blog. So in the big video, which you can buy for 20 bucks, we'll be editing 748 images. Let's see, we might as well pull these back. Tagged, Command A, drag and drop to San Diego Part 2. So now you can see that when I do this, we're going to have 762 images. How do you possibly pick your keepers from 762 images on a second edit? My rule for the first edit is if you're not sure, keep it for the second edit. If you're not sure, delete it. And for the third edit, if you're not sure, get rid of it. If you don't love it, get rid of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you buy the big video. And uh, 
Hopefully we'll see you on an IPT soon. Love you much. Cheers.